Frank and Lillian Gilbreth were pioneers in the field of industrial engineering. They were not just any ordinary couple. They were visionaries who saw the potential to transform the way we work. They revolutionized how we work by introducing innovative methods and tools that are still in use today. Their work laid the foundation for modern efficiency and productivity techniques. Frank was obsessed with efficiency. He meticulously studied every aspect of work processes to find ways to make them more streamlined and effective. And I brought a human touch to his work. I focused on the psychological and emotional aspects ensuring that the changes we implemented were not just efficient, but also humane and considerate of the workers' well-being. Together, they created systems for studying and improving work processes. Their methods were revolutionary and had a lasting impact on industries worldwide. They used film cameras and micro-motion studies to analyze work processes in great detail. This allowed them to identify inefficiencies that were previously unnoticed. They broke down tasks into tiny movements, scrutinizing each one to find the most efficient way to perform it. This meticulous approach led to significant improvements in productivity. This helped them identify and eliminate wasteful actions, making work processes smoother and more efficient. Their goal was to make work easier, faster and safer for everyone. Their legacy lives on in the countless industries that continue to benefit from their groundbreaking work. I'm famous for my work on motion study. I wanted to understand how people moved at work, so I invented a system called Thurbligs. It's Gilbreth spelled backward almost. Thurbligs are basic hand movements. Think, reach, grasp, move, hold. Frank identified 17 of them. By analysing each Thurblig, he could streamline tasks. He made work faster and less tiring for workers. I brought psychology to our work. By integrating psychological principles, I aim to understand the mental and emotional needs of workers, not just their physical movements. I focused on the human factor. It was essential to consider how workers felt and thought about their tasks, ensuring they were mentally engaged and motivated. I understood that workers needed more than efficient movements. They required an environment that supported their overall well-being, both physically and mentally. They needed comfort and job satisfaction. A comfortable workstation could significantly enhance their productivity and reduce the risk of injuries. Lillian pioneered the field of ergonomics. Her innovative approach combined engineering with psychology to create a more holistic view of the workplace. She designed tools and workstations that were easier to use. These designs were not only practical, but also tailored to the needs of the workers, making their tasks less strenuous. This reduced fatigue and injuries. By minimizing physical strain, workers could maintain higher levels of productivity and job satisfaction. Her work proved that happy, comfortable workers are more productive. A well-designed workspace can lead to a more efficient and harmonious work environment. Thanks to Lillian, my workstation is more comfortable, allowing me to focus better on my tasks and reduce the physical strain I used to experience, and I feel more satisfied with my job. The improvements in ergonomics have made a significant difference in my daily work life, enhancing both my efficiency and overall happiness. Frank and Lillian always worked as a team. They believed that the best solutions came from combining their expertise. Frank brought his engineering mind. Lillian added her psychological insights. Their collaboration led to incredible breakthroughs. They improved surgical procedures, reduced fatigue in factories, and even made kitchens more efficient. Their work transformed industries and homes alike. The Gilbreth's legacy continues to impact us today. Their principles of motion study are used in manufacturing, healthcare, and even sports. Their work on ergonomics influences the design of everything from keyboards to cars. Their focus on worker well being paved the way for modern workplace safety standards. They showed that efficiency and worker satisfaction can go hand in hand. The Gilbreth's story is about more than just efficiency, it's a tale of innovation family and the pursuit of a better life. They were parents to 12 children, each contributing to the family's unique dynamic. The Gilbreths managed to blend their professional and personal lives seamlessly. They used their own home as a laboratory, conducting experiments that would later revolutionize the way we think about work and productivity. 
Their family life became a testing ground for their theories. Every meal, every chore, every interaction was an opportunity to refine their methods. Their story, later popularized in the book Cheaper by the Dozen, captured the imagination of many. It highlighted how their innovative approach to efficiency extended beyond the workplace, showed that efficiency could be fun. The Gilbreths demonstrated that productivity and enjoyment could coexist harmoniously. They proved that by working smarter, not harder, we could transform industries and improve lives. We could achieve more and still have time for the things that matter most. Their legacy continues to inspire us to find balance and efficiency in our own lives.